Hello lovely Year 4s, it's Miss Margaret's here for week 4 of Spelling. Welcome back, and it is lovely February now, and it's almost spring, I love it, daffodils will be out soon. Okay, so, let's start. Can you notice, as we always do, can you spot a pattern with these words below? I'll go through them first, and then see if you can notice a pattern. So say them with me. We've got Fisher, Treasure, Measure, Leisure, and in the middle, Composure, Exposure, Closure, and the last three, Pressure, Pleasure, and Enclosure. What is the pattern? Now I'm hoping that you've spotted and you're shouting out at the screen that all the end, all the words end in S-U-R-E, like a sure sound. And silly Miss Margaret, I have got the spellings scrambled up again. Can you please help me to unscramble them? So pause the video here and see if you can spot the definition and match them up to the correct word. So pause the video and let's have a go. Okay, welcome back, lovely year fours. Let's start from the top, treasure. So we know that treasure is a quantity of precious metals, gems or other valuable objects. You can think of perhaps pirate's treasure, a lovely big treasure chest. We've got composure. And composure is the state of feeling of being calm and in control. Sometimes we have to remain composed if we are feeling a little bit stressed or annoyed about something. Let's try and hold that composure. Leisure. Now we can think of some leisure activities here as a little, uh, little clue. And leisure will be use of our free time for enjoyment. In your free time, you might want to go swimming. So swimming would be your leisure activity. We've got closure, the end or the closing down of something. That's the closure of something. Enclosure. You can think of an enclosure at the zoo. So you need to have an area that is surrounded by a barrier, especially if there are zoos in that, um, if there are lions at the zoo in that enclosure. And lastly, we've got pleasure. A feeling of happy satisfaction and enjoyment. There might be certain things which do, um, bring you lots of pleasure. A feeling of enjoyment and happy satisfaction. Okay. And then we've got our last four. We've got Fisher, Measure, Pressure and Exposure. Now just to quickly remind you, Fisher doesn't have anything to do with fish. <laughs> it's a funny old word, isn't it? So Fisher is a deep crack in something. Measure. A unit used to express the size, amount, or degree of something. So we would have for perhaps uh, centimetres as our measurement. Uh, pressure. A force upon a surface by an object. You might put pressure onto something. And lastly, we've got exposure. Having no protection from something harmful. So you might think of ultraviolet exposure from the sun. And we need to protect ourselves with sun cream. To, be, to avoid that exposure. Okay, well done, lovely year fours. As usual, we've got our uh, practice one, two, three, and four sheet. Like usual, you can do it whatever, whenever you want throughout the week. And we've got our three other words. We've got material, nature, and natural, which are from our year three, four spelling list. So have a go at those as well. And then we should have on the back some lovely other things for you to be doing, all related to those words. So let me know how you get on. If you've got any questions, just give me a shout. Okay, thank you guys. Take care and we'll see you soon.